Welcome to video nine of Enter the Crucible. I am Mayhew. So, I am joined by Clint, Carter, Running. Oh, Matt, Jeff. Wow, we lost like a bunch of people. And Pirate Captain. <laughs> yeah, Pirate really Captain bad. is pooping. Uh, we'll advance the, uh, <laughs> the spawning vessel. <laughs> that's that's for posterity now. Five inches up. So we have. One inch over. So we have Vlad three with all of the horses. It can't run. Versus. No, I can't give her receive orders. I said running. Versus yeah, uh, for this unit. the Lilith one making babies list. Leader. Making babies. Trademark of <laughs> Enter the Crucible. Oh, we forgot about Adam. Were, were you here for the introduction? I was not. I was uh, about to reload also on my on my Alrighty. alcohol, which is really important. Is it wrong? That's true. Hey, why don't you give me a Reinhold? Give me a reload. That joke copyright of Clint Runyon, 2014. Is that how it works? You just say it. And yeah, it, you just it say if out. you just say a copyright, it's recorded. So Mike's getting right to it by running everything out there. Super worried about your first turn. Yeah, first turns are. Uh, Usually not an issue for timing. I'm not going to go that badly in the tank until so at least... Is the pot down there all by itself? With those little people? It is. Yeah, well, he's, he's, he's going to be running the, the hex hunters next to it, so when the hex hunters start taking damage, they're feeding the pot. Or as uh, Fabulous Darkness would say, into the bowl, very loudly. Into the bowl! He would say that? Yeah, yeah. he loved it. Screaming. We really need to get him on the podcast. That would well. be fantastic. Who do we need I to get? I want to see him. Uh... Eric would. Yeah, Eric's that would require us going to sci fi. So well, we'll see what we can uh, Hey, we're not dissing any stores here. Yeah. There, uh, there are lovely, lovely, <laughs> lovely people <laughs> that go to sci fi. Yeah. But, um, like the I know one of the wonderful things about the pots is Last Call, which makes Mayhew uh, so happy. Yeah, that, kill it and you still get a shredder. Yep, if you have the corpse tokens, when it is destroyed, you may spawn. You have to have three? Right? Three? You have to have three. Okay. And they and they named that last call. That's kind of that's last kind call. of funny. Yep, I it's like a that. a full unit's only three points, so it is very very difficult to uh, not get three points out of that two beasts, and you've already made up one point. Maybe it's dog. Dog hair. No, no, no. Oh, okay. I'll run. What when Carter's I Asian miss is fine. bright red. From, uh, <laughs> we switched our beverage of choice, so yeah, we'll go ahead and send a little. Having an effect don't on. keep drinking it. <laughs> well, it. It doesn't affect me. I just like get all red and break out knives. So oh, that's okay. It. All right. And then my throat closes, and I need an epipen. Okay. Well, die. if you need some mouth to mouth, just let me know. But the alcohol right. worth it. Hopefully that happens after the podcast because I'm kind of engaged right now. I don't want to. Okay, engage. So we got what, Mike? Mike Carter, first can turn? you just please Mike? focus on the game we're t doing? Yeah, I'll try. I'll All try really right, hard. what scenario do we have here? Uh, this is fire support. Yeah. This is the Don't. two Don't. objectives Don't. and two uh, flags. flags. Yeah. You can control one, dominate each flag. This objective is the boosted damage rolls on uh, light artillery. Oh, so that's... You know, M Mike has talked about, and we, I was on a similar idea, cooking up a double scather list, so... Mm -hmm. Hey. It's my list. I, I would give Matt that that was his his original idea. Thank you. Your list for the army that you double Ravagor, double Scather. It's, it's all the templates. Yeah. All the templates. You know, yeah. I don't I don't know why, but the it's hard to even Tried. see that dragon on the table. It blends into the snow too well. It is. Let's look at that. This is a themey. This is actually very fair enough. This is actually a very themey matchup. Double Ravagor. Yeah, there. I mean, Kador and Legion would be fighting in the snow. That's I was using Lilith too. Why didn't we do this for our first fight? Two Scather templates. Four Ravagor templates and four expertly templates. painted. So you used uh, an airbrush and on one, right? Beautifully right? painted uh, Archangel. I mean, Actually, I can, there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of white in the wings still. Uh, Shut up. Uh, it definitely looks good, good from <laughs> right <laughs> about. Yeah, pretty much. Keep on backing up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. You know, this for how uh, quickly you painted that. I mean, don't tell Mike, but you painted that really no, quick. I, I told him. I told him I was like, I, I crappily painted his Incubi and <laughs> I airbrushed his Archangel. The Archangel looks really good from uh, about three feet away. Yeah, sure. it really does. Well, how, how long did that you spend on the Archangel? Art. How long did you spend on the Archangel? <laughs> Probably about, what, four or five hours? That's it? I think a little bit longer. Really? Um, it was it pretty freaking fast. It was four or five hours for after the airbrushing, I think. And I was like, If you'd like to have your army painted in four or five hours, well, 
If you like to have an Archangel painted. On that Carter's Contact Mayhu. Really Kester's solid at painting a decent trigger. looking armory yeah. quickly. Kester's yeah, Carter, full credit for that. That's, I actually can't wait to show yeah, off the gators that I'm a Carter huge fan of the paint job on my so, circle army that so Carter did that I barely play. So if you would like uh, painting commissions, please flood Carter's inbox. <laughs> do not. I have too many to do already. He especially uh, likes Tau. He's finished. Oh, God. And Tau uh, armies. Any Tau. game with a lot of big flat surfaces. Tau yeah. and circle. What he really oh, wants you to do is get oh, two different colors uh, and try to make them match. Yeah, yeah like gr- like green and dark red. Yeah. Right or like a dark sorry You're dark green and red. His commissions now. <laughs> green, <laughs> red, and blue and no. yellow. Green, red, blue, and yellow. Okay, so if you want a rainbow tower army, which hey, nothing doesn't. wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Uh, Just saying. Is he scary? Uh, Infernal machine gives him terror. Right. Infernal machine gives him terror. So. Uh, 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 Stewart yeah, apparently yeah. can't play more than one army. Unless they all have the same spells. <laughs> so like Infernal Machine he is Gazer. playing Gorshade 3 uh, and Vlad 3, which are yeah, both, you know, the same list. Hey, it's both exact same list. Infernal Machine we'll because <laughs> no, he has. That's he has, just poor he planning. Does not. <laughs> if every <laughs> caster from that book is on a horse and has Infernal Machine, <laughs> or that was just genius planning. I wouldn't mind having Vlad 3 wasn't machine. from that book. Did you don't what? Uh, Nobody else knew that. Nobody knew that. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, a lot, a lot of people hex hunters a little bit. No, no one knew that. In my mind, all cavalry casters are in the same book. A yeah. little, little, little uh, too far. And look the at these beautifully painted hex hunters. They were not... Do you want me to zoom in on those? Done hurly. You can stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> it looks <laughs> like... Uh, look how beautiful those... I just can't wait until the Incubi come out. I mean, they are <laughs> supposed to be abominations. It looks like Stuart counter-deployed the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Outriders <laughs> against the hex hunters, where they'll They're probably do the most good. Why don't you shut up while we're talking tactics here? What? Ooh. Oh, oh my gosh, yeah. he gets all red. Zerporn's coming for you. Oh, yeah. the you don't know. You don't know any <laughs> tactics. Because hex hunters do have stealth, and sprays really don't care. Exactly. And with a hand of fate on the outriders, they're, they can just run. blow through the mm-hmm. hex hunters pretty easily. They will blow uh, those hex hunters. Run. Yes. Mm-hmm. Away. But only five of them at, at once, so right, they get kind of sad. Getting lunch. So How many get freaking out. arms? Yep. Yep. Sorry. Run. Mm hmm. Let's just check you see this the out right here. are going to, trying to deploy against what are you the doing Archangel with just the camera. Seeing, Mike's I'm just not seeing. Mike's not going to appreciate that. I'm seeing my future because <laughs> I know I will. Come be, on, we're, he's our friend. I will be bald soon. <laughs> Come on, dude. Uh, I'm just. I'm <laughs> saying. I just want to see how I'm going to look in, you know, two or three years. You got to hold the power you button like that. That's what you look like now. There you have it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not that bald yet. I'm not that bald yet. I'm getting there. He has a few years on me. So in this particular matchup, my worry is that uh, Vlad can't hit fine. hard enough, fast enough. Wait, you're you're worried? You're not even playing. I am. Okay, you're He's playing for Vlad. He I'm likes Vlad. Like, the other thing who is, who doesn't like Vlad? The armor I cracking don't. ability of uh, Mike's list. So what's your defense on the hill? Really, or, if he can uh, bring uh, any types of attacks, so 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 He's going to go for. He's thinking about an assassination run. Well, this might be a quick game. Oh, uh, looks like uh, Mike here is going into the tank. About which module to activate first. Oh, man. Okay. You sound extremely Can you fit synergy in there somewhere? <laughs> <laughs> fit in synergy and scornergy. Yeah. Is there some scornergy going on here? Um, no, I actually think it's some renaissance. Some <laughs> <laughs> you know, P. Lilith, thanks to this list, has gone through such a renaissance. A little bit. <laughs> Again... Eloquent. <laughs> you sound like you sound like a quality person. We just really <laughs> hope that you listen to the last podcast so you have any idea of what we're talking about. They just, didn't. Don't worry. Really no one's listening listen. to this one either. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't blame them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we lost half our viewership from the last podcast. Do you like intelligence? <laughs> nah. Do you like logic? No. Do you How like about on-point commentary? <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. Yeah. Do you like people just <laughs> kind of making hunters. fun of their friends? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And how we talking him. about Gunbjorn? Yeah. Do you like self-loathing <laughs> troll players? <laughs> and everybody who hates Cricks or either plays Cricks? Well, come listen to our podcast. I'm kind of curious. We have a home for you. Mike has a lot of options on the table. Where is he going to bring that to bear? I know you were talking about the Wizards, um, but if he feels like it, Hex Hunter's under the feet. How 13 shots? Yeah, that's going to do some Three work. dice. Right. They're killing Kev with that even almost every time. To the three dice yeah. damage? Start getting some battle yeah. wizards off. How do they get three dice damage? 
Oh, no, three dice to hit if you oh. punch the feet. Okay. And then they're pal 13s, and then you can skew that by three or five. Uh, that, those little hex hunter shots become obscene. Pow 18, potentially. Granted, you probably wouldn't want to stack that all on no. Outriders, but... Uh, if you were stacking that on Vlad? Stacking on Vlad, you might end him. I don't know if Vlad windwalled. This is I don't think he did. I don't think it's Hex Hunters a, care. Mac, yeah, <laughs> Hex Hunters don't care. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I the Archangel not, certainly uh, does. Yes. Yeah. He's going to try and charge that guy. The total threat is 11 inches. So you are out far. right there. If that's 11. Mm. Yeah, just keep measuring it. I find if you kind of bump the model, it really helps on your charges. Yeah, I do that all the time. I just keep measuring it yeah, until it actually it. works. Or until the guy goes, come on, it's not going to work. Oh, you're just brilliant. All right. brilliant. Yeah. That's a clever way of sometimes measuring so a, a measurement that's super close. You know that the spray template's 10 inches long, so you can kind of throw a either uh, the one-inch widget on the side, other side of the 10-inch spray and get us 100% accurate measurement. Just be careful not to bump the models while you're laying the templates down. Well, but how are you going to get them up there if they're not in range if you don't bump them? That's right. You do bump and then cheat. Mm-hmm. So I'm pretty uh, sure he was in. We don't really have a good place for this. Yeah, that's fine. And if he says no, you pick up yourself and you go home. That's right. Uh, three damage. After you throw your models in your case angrily. Angrily? Angrily. So, yeah. I had uh, chocolate chips in my mouth. Time, so. uh, did, it, did a few points on him. Yeah, yeah, it looks like only three. Um, I mean, the charging for free does mean <sighs> that the afflictor can make a lot of attacks or have a lot I of fury. Not. But I can't. That's true. Not in control. Ah, he just charged out so. of force range. That's not. That's upsetting. That's more that's than ten inches. Missing that incubi can yeah, I guess really cost some later. Yeah. Um, <sighs> the inflictors really should be able to kill a cav a turn and turn it to an incubi, which should be able to kill another cav a turn. Yeah. Do we know where the? Uh, can you use your camera skills to find out where the shepherd is? Because I found sure. that's actually really essential with the afflictors is being able to get the shepherds in the forward position for that very reason. So afflictors can make that long charge. Yeah. It's all I see is hex hunter, hex hunter, hex hunter, pot, shredder. That's Lilith. I will. I don't see Lilith any shredders on the side. There's one right it? there. Ah, it's hiding behind the archangel. How yeah, many does he have in this list? Just, so you're a just the one. Seven, I believe. Or, uh, you're it's 17? interesting that uh, Fenris right. is on the very far flank with the Black Rock Shard. Will hit. I would think you'd probably want to deploy your your armor debuff uh, more centrally so you can affect more areas of the battlefield with those. Uh, Fenris is immune to being targeted by spells. I wasn't saying he's being targeted by spells. I'm just saying the Black Rock Shard is. It's interesting that they're. Yeah, he's saying the, the Black Frost shard is out of place, not Fenris. Yeah, well, uh, Fenris on a flank is fantastic. He's a great flanker, just because he's he easily gets shot off or killed by range attacks. Deploying him in the middle of the board is a good way to end him. So you kind of deploy him on a flank where he's not going to get molested too much by. Whoa! 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 No moleste, no moleste. Uh, and he can charge in with his fast cab move and do, do work. Oh, so you're going to take it off your end. Okay. Do work and then die like he does. Yeah. Well, Mike put, put it on the side, and I think uh, Stuart All right, just counter deployed Fenris. I think um, there might be an assassination going on right now. Yeah, yeah there is. Yeah, I think so too. He, he's rolling really well, hard. Just, um, I think Vlad's about a little over half dead at this point. It looks like a lot more than half dead. We'll send the. Well, you know, we I should have started drinking soon. So now she's speed eight. Uh, he's got three life left. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, people. All from Lilith himself. Four okay. life left. Herself. Okay. Targeting your caster. Okay. So what did we learn? Uh, Windwall? Uh, Mike clip Joseph Stalin on a horse. Well, this wouldn't this wind wall wouldn't have helped it. Oh, okay. It's just caster. Okay. that's a spell okay. and a... Match ability seven versus Magic your 15. Does he have wind wall up? Seven. Let's check. Yeah. It looks like a wind wall. So, need a ten? That looks like pancakes. That's it's, a wind wall. <laughs> <laughs> looks like pancakes. Mm, pancakes. So she's advancing and spraying. Minus three. Or minus two. Minus two. You know, I think my favorite part about this is that after we wrapped up uh, the last podcast, Five. Adam Stewart said, you Done. know, I like the list. That's enough. But why did you include the Nist Sorcerers? Whoa! <laughs> yeah, the answer is so you can win the game. Uh, it was so hard, I forgot to that was a second turn uh, assassination. Whoa. So for the, se- the second shortest yeah. game that we've had whoa. on our podcast. Whoa. Make my baby shortest. No, that is that is the shortest game we've had. Here, yeah, yeah, that was pretty short. Uh, this is 15 uh, minutes we've been recording. How do you eat themselves? Well, all right, fantastic. So we're. I think what the people want. 
if so the Harry I have heard thing. correctly from the internet, is more Gunbjorn. And I think we got yeah. some time. Yeah, that's true. So let's break him out. I got um, I got him on the shelf over there. I have a good way Your fancy camera will find uh, Gunbjorn. Actually, he can. So on the board. Let's go find him. He's right. Oh, right. wait, hold on. Let me um, get this right. Yeah, that was kind of weird when, well, like, when Jeff said oh, it. Yeah, we're... <laughs> nope, write it out. Write it out. Stay so, with us, people. Yeah, Stay with us. Maintain. Is, I, don't I see... I see... It. There it is. Um, he's pointing. I see the big bazooka. Yeah, he's he's right pointing towards victory. I, no, I noticed he doesn't have paint on him. I'm no, glad, he has no I'm paint on him you got to see absolutely yeah, nothing either of these lists really do. Except for, you know, people with shoot stuff. And there's a gun Bjorn for you. Hide in the background. This has been episode nine of Another Crucible. <laughs> well, I wouldn't necessarily. I mean, I think it shows the potential assassination threat that Mike can bring to the table if you give him the opportunity. I was actually hoping plunk him. You get to see the attrition, and you get to see the plus five armor debuff. No. Oh well. Well, he had Paris. He had Parasite on him. He did have Parasite. Dicey. Dicey on him. Yeah. The challenge was, is I made a mistake because I had them too close together. I need. Yes, you made a mistake. Get you. That was a tragic mistake that I think Mike made. Sure. Even in don't don't listen to Mike. There is no victory. Ma- there is no mistakes. No, I don't need this round timer. <laughs> <laughs> Even in victory, there is also defeat <laughs> in Mike's mind. Yes, not good enough. <laughs> That's what we learned today. Not good enough. It could be better. <laughs> So we learned one of the weaknesses of an all cav army is when your warcaster dies. <laughs> that is one of the weaknesses. There is no screen. I was trying to bait you into kind of coming up that far. The screen, and it's hard to screen your caster when you have really expensive models in front of them. And although this was not the case, you actually do kind of see that a lot on the larger based um, warcasters and warlocks is they are a bigger target. Now, he didn't have a screen in this case, but that is a big concern. Yeah, also, that speed. And um, I know I actually ran into this with uh, every other against Mike with Gorshay 3. Is he over advanced enough that I seem to be able to get those shots? I didn't uh, I saw succeed on that assassination, shot, but shot, it also kind of free damage shot, because of the range. I didn't want to measure. So it's, you have to be really exactly. careful, I think, sure with the CAD warcasters. They're a lot harder to use. I think there's a much bigger learning curve. Six inches If only there was a cap caster with occultation. Yeah, if only. Not that it would have helped that much against the Legion list, but. So it would have been two hex That's hunters. That's true. You know, basically. I, I hex like hunters? Hex hunters wouldn't be able to do anything. Oh, I, I think this is good. Mike just apparently has the need to kill the rest of the cav just to send a message. Yes, they were. <laughs> yes, they were. Not one incubi. This is so uh, yeah, stupid. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. Nah, Not yeah, one incubi. Not one incubi. Not, not one. You so know, I, gloriously I, painted incubi. I love for that the, I worked all all week to make sure this list was painted, and this is the the end result. This is what we get <laughs> for the two people that are going to watch this outside of us. Um, making babies I, I does not actually this. make any babies. <laughs> you don't need to. So, yeah. It's oh, he's going to run out of time. I the don't game. <laughs> I mean, the list is so good. You don't even have to use half your mods. So well done, pirate captain, for creating this list. They just weren't. The Legion weren't in their careers. You know. Uh, and they have a financial up, setup to support uh, the baby. Oh, okay. I see where you're going with this. I, nice. I really think this is this was Mike Here. needing to leave early, so he's just like, Here. I'm going to go for it. <laughs> I'm just going to end <laughs> this. Screw showing off this yeah. list. <laughs> I think he's tired of us. Well, I mean, I'd be. I I'm I'd be. I'd be. Shooting him in quick fire. No, but... I didn't even get to finish my main night unit. Oh, okay. that, that's I got like five more shields. It's been, been a week. Is it two <laughs> weeks? I love that oh, we're actually pushing that this video is going to be double the time of the actual game, game right now. <laughs> All right. Can, can we just call this one um, quit and wrap up? <laughs> I'm going to keep recording <laughs> so that when they see it the, on YouTube, it's like, oh, 58 minutes long. This is going to be a really good game. So thank you for watching video nine. Of Enter the Crucible. I think it's video well, 8.5. 8.5. Your first damage We might showcase it. making babies it, again. It maybe. To, to Just maybe. <laughs> Just do a redox game. To I don't think we should film us planet. making babies. Yeah, okay. I think we should. So I've, I've, I've asked and Neither. Neither. said no. Probably My wife said she wanted to contribute to the plot. Uh, <laughs> she did. You caught your feet early and then I'm... <laughs> the funny thing is that I would be. I'm assuming you've cut the, <laughs> cut the audio <laughs> by now. <laughs> I would He's be still recording, so no, it's, no, it's just sir. going. I would be the ashamed one. I'd be the. You'll have one guy come over this time. I don't. I don't know if I'm comfortable with this. And then they'll this. charge in to jam it. My whole so life. thank it's you for watching video nine of Enter the Crucible. None of us will be looking at you anyway. What I would probably do.
do is let you counter charge. Super you're, the, you're the guy. <laughs> super I'm up here because I'll just hex bolt you. That's mine. You're, you're, you're you're threatening to cut up. us, Jeff. You're the guy in porn. Saying, you're you know, superfluous at best. Yeah. So we go from the longest game of Avengers: Crucible history so. to the shortest game, all in one day. Now, <laughs> right. all in, no, actually, uh, in two separate podcasts, Mayhew. It's actually two separate podcasts. Yes. Do it. Stop lying to the people. Yes. Yeah. I'm actually so impressed. Like yes. you said, like three I words mean, in a row. Yes. Yeah. Granted, they're all the same <laughs> in the microphone so, without yeah. looking away. Yes. <laughs> With hand effect, they have two. They've all been the same words. I uh, like that. There's a theory crafting uh, game going on post game uh, of what would have happened. <laughs> we need to give the, uh, our, our viewers what they want, which is an actual I game. I didn't like that matchup, but I knew after our last game. All right, re rack. If I went second, I was getting this. If I went first, I could counter deploy them, but that was re rack. No. Are you sure? 